you a goat. I'm a crazy obsession, but deep down in your heart, you know I'm really authentic. I gave my lawyer 50 bands, ain't no public pretending. When Stalin Moses ain't much, I'm a lawyer to stand. On top of that, I had a Floyd Mayweather case finish. Having fights every unit, they was thinking I'm snitching. I pull that black and white up, they start saluting my crap. I walk the main line. You feel me? He'll put something out, but it ain't nothing where, you know, if you tell him, I've been in here three years, so if you tell him it's going to be an alpha David or a recording, you can't put none of that out on me. But he not telling everybody he got found through social media. You know, he personally left his phone in the house, and that's when they found him through there, and then he tried to put it on me. But me, my brother, and him as co defendants, he did eight months off that. I've been going to jail my whole life. I've been doing eight, nine months. I did a year and a half before I signed the Snoop. I did from late 16 all the way to 18. Dope Boy TV gang, man, stand up, man. I need y'all to like this video. Make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check the description for it. You already know how we stepping out here, man. We ain't ducking nothing. We got the topics on the flow for today. Okay, man, y'all know I got to show some love back to the people. First shout out we got for today's video is going to go to Chark the Talk, man. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in with his song One Day at a Time. It's a slapper, man. That's all that's been on my speaker lately, man. Then we got the real Dirty Dan. This man always showing love to the channel. Shout out to you, bro. I'm always commenting and laughing with you in the uh, comments. And then last but not least, we got Mark M, man. Shout out to bro. He been showing pretty much good love. And he had one of the best comments of this week, man. So I had to give him his props because at the end of the day, y'all know how I'm in over here at Dope Boy TV Gang. I love appreciation to the people who got me here, which is my fans, man, and my family, whatever y'all want to be called. But his funny comment, y'all make sure y'all go tap in with all their channels and show support. Subscribe, man. But let's get into the video with y'all below. My little brother on the dead homies. I love this little nigga to death on the gang. Swear to God, it's my nigga. Hey, cut used to be DMing all the bitches all the <laughs> Hey, don't tell me. Shout out to my boy, that nigga pulling up at one in the morning to cut hair. I already know if you're in Vegas, tap in with bro. Oh, God, Tell him, can you, you know, address this issue and clear yeah. up any uh, misunderstandings? Hey, well, honey, I'm not, you know, hit me personally. He's not built like that. First off, you know, we caught a case together, but what he painted the picture is he's saying I, I gave up his name, but if he really want to pull out the recording with me and the detectives, I told him I don't know no one name. You know, hit me putting out some fake shit. He don't got no alpha David. When you tell 
you got to sign an alpha David. You got to sign your signature and write what happened. Because if you die and trial come up, they got to have an affidavit. If not, it got to be a recording audio with the detectives. When they're like, you got a right to remain silent. He can't put none of that on me. You feel me? He'll put something out, but it ain't nothing where, you know, if you tell him, I've been in here three years. So if you tell him, it's going to be an alpha David or a recording. He can't put none of that out on me. But he not telling everybody he got found through social media. You know, he personally left his phone in the house. And that's when they found him through there. And then he tried to put it on me. But... Me, my brother, and him as co-defendants, he did eight months off that. I've been going to jail my whole life. I've been doing eight, nine months. I did a year and a half before I signed the snoop. I did from late 16 all the way to 18. I ain't never had no snitching allegation on my name, never since 13. I'd have been in every camp, every juvenile hall, L.A. County, none of that. But as soon as I got my fame, it's like that's the first thing somebody try to throw at me. Why would I do that? And I know gonna get two years or half, we're gonna get eight months and I can run through that to fuck up my whole image. That ain't even me. I wouldn't even tell if they got me life right now. So so the case that you have with that dude is in California. It's not related to anything in Nevada? Yeah. Yeah, it's not in uh, Nevada, it's in Torrance, you know. So you know, I'm just trying to come home. I'm gonna clear my name out there, but uh he not built like that, you know. He he a fake man, he out there rapping all that killer music, you know same niggas who shot him still walking down the street so now someone wants to know uh what what do you have to say about the paperwork that's floating around on the internet man, man if a motherfucker really been in jail you know what paperwork is a motherfucker gonna have an alpha david with a handwriting telling the story and signed it or a motherfucker gonna have an audio clip if a nigga ain't got that on a nigga and it's a summary from a police officer that nigga can go on an interview nigga that's like a nigga watch denzel Washington on training day and be like, oh, Denzel said this in the interview. See, I had an interview. they like, oh, man, you used to break in houses. So I'm telling the story on Say Cheese. I read the shit. It looked like a nigga just typed up my whole Say Cheese interview. I really laugh at it when I go to sleep because I know the truth. I would have been doing this shit. As soon as I get some fame, niggas try to, you know, sabotage my name. But it's all good, man. I'm going to come win. Okay, and we, uh, we already talked about this earlier, but someone just asked, are the snitching allegations real? Man, they could never be real. That could never be me. If I was a snitch, shit, my whole hood would be in jail. Shit, I know secrets, but guess what? I can't tell them. It's crazy. It's crazy. That shit broke my heart to know some niggas I love to death or do that to a nigga. But it's like, if you're going to do it, just make sure it's the truth. Make sure you hear audio of my voice telling. Make sure you see my statement with my sloppy handwriting signed the signature. Other than that, it's like, do you think shit even did that foul ass shit. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or 